You can feel your heart beating every time you keep your hand near to your chest. But do you have any idea what is really going on there? Or what keeps your heart ticking? Every day our heart beats about 100,000 times sending 2000 gallons of blood surging through our body. Although it is not bigger than our fist, our heart has a mighty job of keeping the blood flowing through 60,000 miles of blood vessels that feeds the organs and tissues. Food, water and oxygen are essential for the existence of human life. Blood transports all these substances through various channels called blood vessels. Blood vessels involves arteries, veins and capillaries. To keep the blood flow throughout our body, we have a pumping system. The heart It is a pump which is composed of muscles that pumps blood around the body at an approximate rate of 72 times per minute. The human heart has four chambers: right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle There are four valves in the heart they are tricuspid valve mitral valve aortic valve and pulmonic valve These valves are one way valves. Now you have seen the structure of a heart. Now let's see how it works. The blood becomes oxygen rich by absorbing oxygen in the lungs. The function of heart starts when the oxygenated blood is carried from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart by means of pulmonary veins the left atrium relaxes as this blood is pumped into the heart when the left atrium contracts the left ventricle relaxes simultaneously the left atrium pushes the blood into the left ventricle through the one way valve when the left ventricle contracts the blood is pumped into aorta which carries the oxygenated blood to different parts of the body except the lungs oxygenated blood reaches different parts of the bodies through the blood vessels called arteries The arteries get branched into capillaries which then reaches to different organs of the body. The blood then becomes deoxygenated and the blood capillaries get mixed into a thick blood vessel called the veins. The veins carry deoxygenated blood to the heart. The blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood to the heart are called vena cava. The deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body enters the upper right chamber of the heart which is called the right atrium. The right atrium gets contracted allowing the blood to flow into the right ventricle 
which contracts with the expansion of right atrium through the one way valve the right ventricle then contracts pushing the blood into the pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation the lungs oxygenate the blood by exchanging of gases and flows back into the heart through the pulmonary veins and start the circulatory cycle all over once again